In this video, we're going to be going over the general anatomy of skates. Not that a lot of skates are different, but this is just a general sense of what makes up a roller skate. Hello there, it's Zoe Joy here, and we're going to be talking about the anatomy of roller skates. Knowing the parts of your roller skates will help you understand them better, as well as the terminology I might use in this course. So first up, we have our boot, and every skate has a boot. They may look different, but at the end of the day, it's called a boot. So this can be made from leather, pleather, suede, acrylic, and more. And different boots are good for different things, and that is a topic for another video. The boot includes the liner, this is right here, the tongue, the laces, the eyelet, the hooks, the outsole, the insole, which can be removable. And also, for different types of skates, sometimes you won't have laces and you might have Velcro. Next, we have the plate, and the plate is often made of metal. I believe this is nylon, or some sort of plastic. And the plate is mounted to the bottom of the boot, and it holds everything together, basically. Now let's talk about below the plate. Right here we have our trucks along with our axle, and that is what your wheels are connected to. And you have your kingpin right here. This is all one long piece. It has cushions as well as the kingpin nut, keeping it all tight. You can use this tool called a crab tool. It's often included when you buy your skates. And you can loosen this nut right here for looser trucks. Some people like their trucks tight, some like them loose. If you ever hear someone say, I like my trucks loose, that's what they're talking about. They're loosening this nut. And then we have our wheels. And then this piece right here, not the nut, but this piece that is called our bearing. And there are two bearings in each wheel. So a pair of skates comes with 16 bearings. Your bearings are the reasons why your wheels can move easily and freely, and it's important to take care of them. Last but not least, we have our toe stops or jam plugs. Now I have a toe stop. This is a toe stop that came with these skates. This toe stop is adjustable, so that means that I can adjust how far out the toe stop comes out from the skate. Some skates come with fixed toe stops. Basically, toe stops aid in slowing you down on skates, as well as being a very efficient way to stop. You can also use your toe stops for different dance moves, but a lot of skaters prefer jam plugs when it comes to dancing because oftentimes jam skating doesn't require you to do like quick stops, so it's honestly a personal choice. Some people take their toe stops out completely. Personally, I like taking my toe stops out if I know that I'm gonna be in a controlled environment, such as a skate rink, or outside in my backyard or in my kitchen or something like that. But if you're skating outdoors, I highly recommend to keep your toe stops in and keep them in tight. Okay, so that is the anatomy of a roller skate. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.